Hello again, I come with another video that is organization blocks used as for troubleshooting. We will see on this video OB82. So OB82, OB82 is IO fault or input output module fault. And also we call it diagnostic and drug. So OB80 will be a fault when there is a fault on the IO module like wire breakage, power failure, and so many errors on the input out module. So if we if OB82 had not been programmed, the CPU changes to the stop mode. So OB82 has many default variables that use to the use it to diagnosis or to give some information about the error and the current status of the CPU. So we can extract the hardware messages to our PLC program by using those variables. So we will see those variables later on our video. Okay, here are some of the variables. So let's first go to the hardware configuration. As you see, I have already added all my input modules here. So the input output module must be the most must have the future of diagnosis interrupt to monitor those things. We have to select those mod modules correctly. The module must have those, these features, the agonetic interrupt future. So as you see, on all my modules have this option. Okay. Our first task is to select or to check this. Okay. So now, sorry. Let's go to now the our thematic manager and create uh, some error of OB eighty two. So let's say okay, our module has this one for example the address is 256 so let's create some error on this module let's say external voltage fail so those selected error will error will be displayed so apply as you see the cp goes to stop mode without OB82. Okay, let's see our hardware configuration. Here also the CPU shows some errors here. So let's go to the diagnosis interrupt. Diagnosis buffer. Okay, as you see here. The CPU is stopped by diagnostic interrupts. The OB is not loaded. Okay, great. So we can resolve this problem by adding OB82. Let's add OB82 and see. Let's first do this one. Okay. OB82 So let's download our program OK 
All right. So now let's create the error. The error again. Like uh, fuse is treated. There's some selected. Okay. As you, as you see, the CPU doesn't stop. Let's see the, the hardware configuration. So the CPU is okay. When we see the diagonalist buffer, module program or maintenance necessary. So on the uh, information we can see input module input address 256 is a problem and the problem is fuse triple and internal power supply field so on okay so but the advantage is the cpu doesn't go to the stop it goes to it runs the other programs but we can Case those messages on our program. So as you see on the module, fault, mo fault module fuse error, internal error are here. Likewise, we can do for all okay. Let's do this one again, the output module, output module 272, let's battery apply, go to the uh, diagonal paper. so again here is the one problem. As you see, battery one dead, faulty module, internal error. Those are displayed here. So the other advantage of OB82 is to extract those hardware messages to to the, our uh, the program. So we can extract these messages to our program and send those messages to the HMI. Then the technician can easily get some information and the troubleshoot. So let's do next this one. So here are the different variables for OB82. Here is the event class and the fault ID and uh, this one is the module address, defective module address. So here are some useful default variables for OB82. So I have used some of the variables to get the information. So here is the event class. I moved on memory bit 80. Here is the fault ID. And here is the I of life, or like if it is input module, it is 54. If it is output module, it is 55 in hexa. So we can distinguish or know the failed module is that input or the output module? Here is the logical address. So we can simply get the failed logical address of the module. Okay. So we have also some bit for like mod mod module defective. Here is the, the fault type is external fault. and the internal power supply fault battery fault fuse fault we will see those 
uh, on our function I have moved this to our on our function to so let's open function to and see okay so let's let's create again the, the problem first let's those variables those value variables have zero value currently because there is no error so as soon as the pro the error happens their value will be changed okay Let's create some error. Okay, that's the output module. Let's do this one for first the input to fifty six. Let's say the problem is channel channel fault. Apply. So as you see the the value is changing. 80 39 means incoming event as you see so it's 39 and on the second the error code is 42 so that means the error happened and uh, on the other it is 54 that means input module And here is the logical address that is 100 it's in hex so when we change it to the decimal 50 256 as as you see on this one so here are some messages so module external fault external fault it is selected here and it's showing here also okay let's change the error type first let's make this one okay and let's change this one output to seven okay let's change this to few scripted apply okay here internal fault and the few scripted are selected so as you see Fuse fault and drum power fault are active. Okay, here is the logical address is one one zero that it's in hex when we change to decimal it's two two seven two two hundred and seventy two. So we can it is fifty five that means output module. As you see here, okay, 42 that means error has happened, and 39 means incoming event. Great, let's make this one okay. Let's one more see the hardware. Okay, the module is this one 272. So when we Open the faulty module, fuse error, internal error, and voltage field. Okay, let's change this one one more. Our decimal is this one, so let's change it to the input 8.0 digital input module okay let's create some error here battery error so let's see this one yeah here so battery one dead faulty module and the internal error so 
we can extract those messages or the hardware messages to the, our program and uh, send these messages to the, uh, our HMI. So the technician easily understands what happened on the hardware configuration. So as you see here, 39 it uh, means event uh, incoming event and 42 error has been occurred. 54 that's input module and address 8 address 8 on there is a, a problem on address 8 as you see it's in hex when we change it to decimal it's also 8 okay as you see battery fault is active here great I have done on this in this topic so we'll meet again on another OB